Okay guys, so yeah, I'm very well aware that I've been missing a lot of uploads this week, but I've already explained it. The whole truck thing, school, it, it's been really busy. A little front loading here. I might be missing maybe another two days of uploads starting Friday or something like that just because. So I said in yesterday's video about the Arizona truck. If you guys watched yesterday's video, I was talking about how I found a truck uh, that's 30 minutes from me and then there's one in Arizona. As we already know that I was leaning towards the one that's actually here. I didn't really want to go to the Arizona one, but I got off the a FaceTime call with the salesman and honestly, that truck is actually in really good condition. And one of my dad's buddies who actually lives in Arizona, he's about 30 minutes away from where this place is located in, in Arizona. He's actually going to be going over uh, today at some point to actually check out the, 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 the whole truck just just check it out do a little test drive because obviously you know we, we can't really do that so he's gonna go out there and honestly if that truck is good working condition it's it, it, it's nice it's it's all good i don't know it's just perfect and my dad are gonna get the, like pretty much the closest if not like the next flight out to arizona and pick it up and it's obviously gonna be like a 13 hour drive back from you know arizona to where my house is to clear that up so if you guys see like a la uh well i mean lack of uploads is pretty common with me right now i should probably fix my shit asap but you know, it's 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 it, it, it's doing its own thing right now, man. I know I just started really bad right there, dude. But I have a lot of caffeine in me right now, so don't really hate on me too much for that. I'm just really excited because if I do get that truck, I'll be really happy. But yeah, I, I'm well aware with yesterday what I said about the whole truck thing and you know going to Arizona. I guess I was wrong about it. I, it from what I've seen, I so I made him check it. And it seems nice. It seems like a working good truck that I am actually gonna be able to do my shit with. It currently has its own, you know fun tools on it, right? It has its own its own things on the truck, right? But honestly, I can still do my own thing with it. I was actually underestimating it, maybe overthinking about it, maybe actually just being a little bit lazy about having to, you know, go a couple states over for a truck. Honestly, I have never done that before. I have never done that. The truck I've ever owned is the current one I have. It's It's been great to me. Oh my dad, I'll even be happy with just keeping my current truck, and, but it definitely needs like a tranny change. Or there's a wiring issue at the tranny. There could be several things wrong with it. Guys, it's a Dodge. If you guys are familiar with like it, 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 trucks at all, Dodges are known for their transmissions. But other than that, they're great trucks. Yeah, we're gonna kind of see. And uh, I don't know. I'll definitely put on my Twitter. If you guys follow my Twitter, I'll definitely update you guys. Like if I don't post, like if I'm on a plane ride to Arizona, I'm going to tell you guys via Twitter. I'm currently on a plane ride to Arizona. Can't upload today if not tomorrow. Typically, it should be like a one day trip. Like we should, we would probably get there early in the morning via plane and then drive back. It's a 13 hour trip. So I'm saying maybe two, if not like it's about two days because the day after I get the truck, I'm obviously going to, you know, want to drive it, play with it. Just do a lot of checks, checks with the truck. Like I want to bring it to a me mechanic, which we're probably going to be doing while we're down there. We'll probably be taking it to a mechanic before we actually buy it. We'll do a test drive and bring it to a mechanic shop and just make sure it's overall a good truck. Good. Bring it home. And I'm just going to do some things with it. I need to swap over my sub and a couple of the bullshit with it. It's, it's. It's a kind of a work in progress. But yeah, I know, like, my vision on that truck kind of changed within the last 24 hours. Honestly, man, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's a nice truck, but what I'm not okay with is this lobby, so I'm going to leave this lobby. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, right now, oh yeah, also the ride tech. So yeah, I said yesterday I'll use the ride tech, so let's go ahead and use the ride tech. Uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to be running the ride tech pretty much pretty simple pretty much i think what everyone run, runs a ride tech with don't have a variable zoom on this ride tech i'm sorry dude and if you get kills with like a non-variable zoom on this ride tech dude you are a god i'm sorry but you are a god if you get kills with it using like an acog dude you're a god like i don't even think i'll get maybe two kills i'll be lucky if i get one kill right now with the ride tech one kill with the ride tech hopefully the whole truck thing goes good so i'm actually kind of eager because after hearing that truck start up oh Fuck, it sounds beautiful. It sounds really nice. It actually didn't even have the startup issue. Like, if you know with diesels, you're supposed to you know, let them sit for a second, turn them on, and it's gonna have like, you know, like a z -z -z -z. I don't know how, you guys know what I mean. Like, like, like the old diesel starting sound. Now this has trouble turning over where it becomes, it has like a stroke mid turnover, kind of like that sort of shit. This one did not. I, I don't think they, they did a cold start on it, which I'm cool with. I just wanted to see how the, hear, hear the truck, whatever. Definitely worth my dad's time, to, my dad's friend's time to go down there and check. Let's check this ride tech out. Let's, let, let, let's see. Okay, there's one. There's two, three. See, that's what I'm saying, dude. I was right on him, dude, and the ride tech just did not want to work. I mean, hey, you know, dude, I got three kills. It's actually more than what I thought I was gonna get with this thing. The ride tech feels nice. The concept of this gun is really nice. Teammate, you're retarded. And now I'm gonna leave. Because I'm petty. I know that I said this video is going to be a whole video about the ride tech, but hey, there you go. There's your gameplay of the ride tech. Uh, listen, guys, I just don't like it. <laughs> Inconsistent. I'm almost positive 
my crosshairs were right on that dude by forklift. And I still somehow did not hit him. The right tick reminds me of in Rust. If you guys play Rust, you guys will know like about like, I think it's like two years, maybe like a year and a half ago, they added this concept called aim cone. Cone is something that uh, Face Punch Studios, which are the creators of Rust and Gary's Mob, but we're talking about Rust here, added this into Rust to stop cheaters. So aim cone does is even if your aim is fabulously perfect, you're going to be missing a couple shots, whether you like it or not. The bullet spray is it's kind of like bullet balloon. Like have you ever seen like bullet balloon? Like, you know, like in like Fortnite, you know, like the bullet balloon bullshit. See, I can't hit him, dude. I can't fucking hit him. Oh my god, my team. I, I'm so bad. Let's try this, dude. Fucking beautiful. I think this gun has, and it's, it's actually kind of weird to compare it now that I'm saying it out loud because the AK spray in Rust is definitely, you know, it's a full auto. This is a, this is a semi-automatic fucking sniper. It's it's just fucking chambered. And that, it's, just, it's, just, it's just that fucking way, right? I feel like... The bitch, dude, I shot, I, this is actually going really good, why are my thumbs sweaty, well, I'm done, hey, hey, I, you know, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow, fuck!